Join us for the first solo art exhibition of Marcus Yentes held at the Ultramondo Gallery in Makati on July 4, 2019. Marcus Yentes is a Manila-based contemporary artist, photographer, known for using vibrant lines and shapes in subtle yet mesmerizing paintings. A Bachelor of Fine Arts graduate of Pepperdine University and sporting an unnerving ensemble of artistic talent in fields such as music and architecture, he developed a distinctive style that blends sharp geometric minimalism with bold colors. While much of his career focused on photography, graphic design, and advertising, he learned to capitalize on his creative experiences, channeling and informing his latest wave of personal artwork. Since 2017, it has been a welcome return to basics for Marcus. With reinvigorated drive to pursue his artistic instincts, he's launched new pieces that push for new frontiers, experimenting with abstract patterns, implementing dot designs, and mixing mediums. His driving goals remain simple and straightforward, to continuously create art that elevates consciousness, both his and the audience's, art that always seeks to inspire. What's up, baby? How are you? Enjoying the ceviche, waiting for some of the payments. Hi, everybody. We just arrived at my very good friend's Marcus Yantas' solo exhibit here at the Altro Mondo here at uh, Picasso Boutique Suites. So, starting off with a glass of white wine. Wait, hold on. Cheers. And I got my shrimp ceviche as well. Hi everybody, I'm so glad to be with my very good friend Marcus Sientas. We first met in LA and uh, that was what, in like 1999? We first met this boy in LA and now he's having a solo exhibition in Manila. But for party boys, we've loved Manila for a good amount of time. He's half Filipino, half German. And I'm so proud of my boy because now he's having his first solo exhibition in Manila. Thank you. Marcus, what can you say? What has inspired you for your production here today? Uh, well, first and foremost, the inspiration comes from my art background. First and foremost. In Malibu. In Malibu. As a, as a college student, I was doing a lot of art. In fact, uh, I was doing art. And then when I realized that I had to do something again with it, I decided that this would be the way to push through with it and go back into the arts again. So I was doing creative work and advertising, but I wasn't doing the passion of the art that I was doing. So that was the push to get me back into it. And when I opened with the show, Joy of Miami, it was a lot of experience that I had uh, experienced in the past that I just haven't been able to put into work. And so by using the experience of my app before, I mesh colors and a lot of abstract geometry, and I correct all of those into one beautifully curated art piece, or should I say, curated art pieces. For me, I think this is beautiful, and for me, this reminds me of suprematism. Is that what your art is about? It, you know, maybe a little bit of that, but I think um, my main focus is minimalism, first and foremost. I wanted to make sure the work didn't have complicated subjects to deal with. I didn't want people to have to delve and think too much about what they're looking at. But I wanted people to feel resonate with the colors when they see work in the room. And it can change the mood. It can bright place, it can make the dark, it can make them more relaxed. Or even the simple point of view, them appreciating something without overthinking it. That was the main focus of this style using these colors. This is your first solo exhibit. I want you to show me your favorite piece here. Okay. The favorite piece is actually over there. Uh, I still want to drink something. No, so let's get it right. It was done last year. I did a Spanish name because it was actually, you know, the word for South Beach. And that was where I had the most fun experiences when I was in Miami, Florida. And so what I did was, I got inspired by the water and the ocean. And I radiated all the colors so that you can have an 
nice view and it would relax you when you look at the ocean. You can also go the other way, but I didn't do that. I actually saved that for the rest of the show with the loud colors. So South Beach is not going to be the ocean boulevard that we know with the glitz and glam. I redid it in a very subtle way with ocean, uh, and ocean colors. That's canvas. It's a really good canvas. It's uh, about a little over 60 centimeters. This is 31.8 inches. We made sure we had just enough color for it to pop. Otherwise, it would just blend in too much and you wouldn't see the gradation. That is a gorgeous piece. But do you know where the buzz is about tonight? Yeah. Where is the buzz about? The red one. Yes. The red piece. It's been what? It's been what already? This actually is funny because this wasn't even supposed to be this painting at first. I was a matter of a lot of gradation and bonds. And it took a lot of hours. And then when I said it got to about halfway, I turned it over, something else came to mind. I was already doing the other paintings that had sort of spread lines and this would be a good painting to test that on. A little more texture. So really strong. A lot of texture. So yes. the complete opposite of all the other paintings that I have, which are very smooth. And then we started dripping acrylic paint on the others, really showing rough, but yet again smooth at the same time, but very loud colors. All to the point where That's a seafood ceviche with avocado. Next we got the chorizo, arepas, empanada. I honestly want to thank you uh, for coming to the show. You know, it couldn't have been done without a lot of people and some support by family, friends, and of course our sponsors. And this is why I'm doing this, of course. But no, really, truly, I really thank everybody for attending the show and for coming and experiencing what I've been putting together for the last few years. It's been a long road, uh, seriously a long road, and um, it's been really put on hold due to, of course, my career and, of course, a lot of other work. And I, I'm sure some of you know, we've worked together on a lot of projects. But I think now that I've moved to the next chapter of my life as an artist, I'm putting the commercial stuff out of the way 
and focusing more of my attention to fine art. So to make this all happen, I had some help from family and friends and of course sponsors. I have to say that again, sorry. Uh, so we have a nice little raffle, just of course thank you from them. And everybody that I passed around a little box and you put your business cards in, this is what it's for. So you don't have a business card? Uh, anybody last minute business cards? I want a Luta. Nothing plucked here. Put this in. Oh no, it can't. It has to be a card. Can you give me two minutes? I'll make one. No, it has to be Okay. People yeah. might feel that thin. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to raffle off one of our sponsors, who are also good friends of mine, a lovely iPhone 8 in space gray. So some of you said we don't need a new phone. Well, we can get it. It's my car. I'll take it. <laughs> And of course, to make it fair, we had uh, Martin's uh, chefs provide me with a tub because we couldn't get a bowl big enough, right? So uh, we're going to shuffle it up so we know we're not cheating. And I'm going to have somebody pick it out. So if your name is called and you don't come, we're switching. To Five house. seconds. Five seconds. Okay. And so our winner for the iPhone 8 is... Oh! Uh, Mr. Ramon Orlina, please come claim your... Oh, Mr. Ramon Orlina! He just won an iPhone 8, brother! Of course, I put it in your car. Thank you. I don't believe Come it. Come on! Awesome, brother! I cannot believe it, I put it in your car. Come on! Hey, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Actually, this is yours. It's a legendary iPhone from a legendary Philippine glass sculpturist. Oh my god, that is awesome. The man. Next time. Trebien. Did I hear from you? What's up, guys? How are you? So nice to meet you. Let's get one. This one is my favorite. This one is my favorite. Miami. Miami means heat. And the second one that I like is that one over there. Which one over there? Come, let's go. Which one do you like? It's called the uh, Miami Vice. Then and there. It has a the division. Thank you. Ramon Orlino is a legendary glass sculpturist of the Philippines. I love his work. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think it's his best painting. And I guess it's the intense red colors which really stand out. And I think it's his best work. I think it's his best work. But there are others. So that's the beginning of the next series. This one here. Very good. Okay. So my, my favorite piece of the parts card is this teardrop edition right here. There are two of them, as we can see. And they are very different from everything else that we have in the studio. Uh, it's my favorite piece of art that he's made because I'm wondering what this is inspired about, right? 
Who makes art out of tears? That's it. Thank you. Good friends, Mackie bought it today. <laughs> That's it. No, actually, I like it. I agree. I like. I like the colors. It's warm. It's got the pink. It's got the yellow. It's got the orange. It's hot. It's awesome. Right, awesome. If you guys want to get my take on what my favorite piece is in the show, something very typical, something that pops, something that's out of the box, it's going to be this, the Bermuda Triangle. Actually, because of my relationship to the artist, I actually recommend it to him to create a piece that goes beyond the grain. And I told him to create canvases in shapes that are neither square or rectangle. I said, produce a triangle, name it Bermuda. So I gave him the idea because the Bermuda Triangle being an enigmatic, you know, sort of thing, you know, it has to do with history and things disappearing, the occult. I said, if there's any one point that touches Miami, and Miami itself falls into the triangle, it would be the Bermuda Triangle. So, this is basically it. This is my piece. This is my favorite piece of the show. This is one of my favorite pieces of art. Why? Because it's 3D. 3D. Look at it. Look. No, look at it. <laughs> See that? And you zoom back. Zoom back. Very successful. That's a very interesting 3D piece of art, right? Warm and cool, beautiful piece. I like the order because, um, first of all, it's different. It's the only, it's the, I think they're the only pieces that are, that are circular, or in this case, it's, it's a different, it's a different uh, shape. Because everything else is Miami Vice, you know, uh, uh, square or rectangular with very definite defined lines. Although these are defined as well, but they're circular. For me, it, it kind of jumped out. Uh, it showed its uniqueness. It showed its... Uh, and, the, and the colors are also different. It's, uh, one of the reasons why it, it kind of... I, I took a line in here. So, that's basically why I, I like it. And, uh, the difference. The difference in shape, in color, and then like, what it projects. Hi! So, these are the ones that I like. Because of all the feelings, it makes me happy. I don't know, it makes me happy. something that brought back a little bit of nostalgia to Miami. Miami wouldn't be complete with people going, because I had something to do with Miami Vice. So I did three pieces. Miami Vice then and now, which is the smooth textures that we see in the other works. And then, but now, of course, here, then and now, is the contrast of it being very old and vintage and worn out. But then to support it, Miami Vice has two main characters, as we all know, famous characters. And that's Sonny Crockett and Ricardo Tubbs. And the colors are based on the stuff they wear, the colors that they wear. And we painted them exactly in that style, and we put them all together as a mini-series. Gorgeous. Mark, thank you so much for the invitation. Sure, man. This was a beautiful exhibit. And I'm so glad to show it to some of our subscribers and uh, 
Well, looking forward to more of this. Yes, I agree. Looking forward to more of this. Thank you.